Attorney Kibitza with Stalls TV. When cutting heat transfer materials, it's easy to become frustrated when a material doesn't cut or weed like you had hoped. When a material isn't cut accurately, it becomes very difficult to weed and can cost your business time and money in wasted materials. The culprit is usually one small but very important detail in vinyl cutting. It's the blade within your cutter. Having a high quality sharp blade is key to ensuring that you get a precise, accurate cut every time. Let's take a look at the blade and some tips to ensure that you get an accurate, precise cut in all of your cutting. These little tools are made of a tungsten carbide, which is extremely brittle. Paired with the sharpened edge of the blade, which is sharpened within a few microns during manufacturing, these tools need to be sure to be handled with care so they don't break and become damaged. Here are a few tips to ensure that you keep your blade sharp and damage free. First is blade extension. Whenever you load your blade into your vinyl cutter, it's important to ensure that you don't overextend the blade. As I mentioned, the tip is very brittle, so with overextension, you're forcing the tip of your blade to go too far down into the cutting strip or the rollers, which can cause it to dull very quickly or damage completely, which is difficult to see with the human eye. To ensure that your blade's extended at the, far, at the proper extension, draw back the blade, to about a half of a credit card's thickness and you can line the two up to ensure that you are the accurate extension so you're not over cutting into the strips. The second tip for accurate cutting is to always keep extra blade holders and blades on hand at your shop. When you're cutting a variety of heat transfer materials, it's key to have an extra blade for more robust materials like glitter. These robust materials can dull your blade faster, which can make it difficult for cutting thin, lightweight materials, especially with fine detail. I recommend having a dedicated blade to these types of materials every time it's your cutter for easy changing out. Likewise, stretchy materials like performance materials also need a very sharp blade. Commit a dedicated blade holder and blade to these products to ensure that you're not having a dull or damaged blade whenever you go to cut these very stretchy materials. The third tip is test cut. Always test cut all of your materials when you load them into your vinyl cutter. Whether you're changing out the color of the material or the product itself, you want to ensure that you're not cutting with too much force and cutting through the carrier down to that cutting strip. This again can break off the tip and cause challenges with the damaged tip of the blade. The fourth is storage. Whenever you order your vinyl cutter blades, you'll notice they usually come in some type of packaging that's got plastic in it or in a case like this. Make sure to store these properly so that they don't come in contact with other things that could damage the tip of the blade. As you can see, these tips will help set your business up for successful cutting and fast, easy weeding. Always keep an extra blade holder, blades, and different accessories around your cutter to ensure that you're setting yourself up for precise, accurate cutting. This is Courtney Kibitza with Stalls TV. Thanks for watching.